Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Jen from Life with Jen. Today I am going to be making two recipes. One is a slow cooker butter chicken from Spend with Pennies, one of my favorite recipes, as well as a brownie oatmeal bake from Healthy Girl Kitchen. These are perfect if you want something quick and yummy. I will leave the recipes in the description box below. Start by turning your stove on medium heat. When it's nice and warm, add three tablespoons of butter. Once that is done, add one large onion diced and let it cook for five minutes while stirring once in a while. Next, place the cooked onions in a slow cooker. Then add the rest of the ingredients to the slow cooker. I am adding five cloves of garlic minced, one tablespoon of fresh ginger. I'm using ready-made ginger in the tube because I needed to be quick with this meal. Next, I am adding in all the spices. I used one tablespoon of curry powder because I ran out of garam masala, as well as one teaspoon of coriander, half a teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of chili powder, and half a teaspoon of salt. Adjust the salt to your taste. I added one full can of crushed tomatoes, two tablespoons of tomato paste, half a teaspoon of lemon zest, and then one and a half cups of heavy cream. Then I gave that a good stir. The recipe says you can use coconut milk instead of heavy cream. Next, I added 10 pieces of chicken thighs with skin and bone. The recipe calls for three pounds of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, then give that a mix. I set the slow cooker on low for five hours. The recipe uses cornstarch to thicken the sauce, but I liked how mine turned out without cornstarch. It was perfect for dipping my knot on bread. Once it was done, I served it on top of basmati rice. I didn't have cilantro, but this is where I would have added it. You guys will love this recipe. It is so easy and quick. It didn't take a lot of time and it was delicious and all my kids loved it. I knew the kids loved it because they were quiet while eating dinner. Next, I am making a brownie oatmeal bake. You guys will love this. It is so yummy, soft and gooey, which I love. This recipe is from Healthy Girl Kitchen. First, start by preheating your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Her recipe says to do wet ingredients first and then I just added the dry ingredients on top of the wet ingredients so there's less to clean. So here I am pouring two cups of milk into a large bowl. The recipe calls for coconut milk, but I used regular milk. Next, I am adding half a cup of maple syrup. third cup of peanut butter,
one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then give that a stir. Next, I add in two cups of rolled oats. A quarter cup of cocoa powder. And one teaspoon of baking powder. Then I add in one tablespoon of ground flax and a pinch of salt and give that a good stir. Then I add in one third of a cup of chocolate chips and mix. Now I'm spraying a six by nine pan with olive oil or you can melt some coconut oil and rub that into the pan. Then bake it for 40 minutes, you guys will love it and if you let it sit a little bit, then it won't be as gooey. I was just too excited to eat it. I hope you enjoyed this video and please tag me if you make these recipes. I would love to see it. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. It means the world to me. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell so you can stay updated on all of my upcoming videos. I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Bye for now. Go ahead and shine, darling